Replacing the hard drive in a 2006 15-inch MacBook Pro begins by removing the battery from the chassis. There are two sliding locks on either side of the battery that need to be moved to release it, and then a tilting and lifting motion on the battery to fully remove. From here, there are three Phillips screws that need to be removed from the memory cover. Lift and remove the memory cover from the chassis. These next two Phillips screws need removed next. These are located within the battery bay. The next two screws will require a Torx T6 screw bit. Loosen and remove these. There are four long Phillips screws just below the screen that need to be removed next. We'll make short work of these. The next two Phillips screws are on the side of the MacBook under the screen. There are four Phillips screws on either side of the MacBook near the I.O. ports that must be loosened and removed. These are the last set of screws before we lift the keyboard. Depress the latch on the front of the Mac to release the screen lock and lift the screen. To give you a better view, I tilted the Mac on its side. We need to lift on the side starting near the screen and work our way toward the front palm rest, minding the vertical clips. We don't want to break these. Once we have loosened the keyboard bezel enough, we will lift as shown, but be careful not to tug on the keyboard ribbon below. Detach the connector for the keyboard ribbon carefully, making sure not to lift on the connector found on the motherboard, then remove the keyboard from the workspace. Gently release the hard drive ribbon cable slowly, working it from all sides. Next, we will use two spudger tools to rock and release the sleep light and IR sensor connectors on top of the hard drive. We'll also need to very carefully slide our tool under the ribbon to release the adhesive securing it to the hard drive. Make sure to mind this wireless radio cable here, should it be present on your Mac. Next, we'll remove the two Phillips screws that are holding the hard drive retaining bracket in place. I found it easiest to take two spudger tools, pointed ends, and push them into the rubber bumpers on the hard drive and slowly lift to remove it from the chassis. Move the hard drive ribbon cable out of the way and remove the hard drive retaining bracket. Slowly disconnect the connector on the ribbon from the hard drive. Retrieve the four rubber bumpers on the side of the old hard drive using a T6 Torx screwdriver. Here's our new solid state drive being installed into the Mac. Return the four T6 screws with the rubber bumpers into the sides of the new SSD. Reattach the drive to the ribbon cable, reattach the retaining bracket, and follow all of the previous steps in reverse to rebuild the Mac. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to receive notification of future content.